integrate e to the power x cos 2x dx. Now, this is an example of integration by parts. As you can see, you can't do any substitution, which will help you to integrate this integral. So, uh, let me explain integration by parts, which is actually, uh, which has actually come from product rule. So, you learned in product uh, in differentiation, if it is f of x times g of x dash or prime, if you differentiate this, so you do f dash x times g of x plus f times g dash x f times g dash x. So, if you integrate both sides with respect to x, so this is integration of f f of x times g of x dash dx. So, integrating both with respect to x, so this is integration of f of f dash x g of x dx plus integration of f of x times g dash x dx. So this is nothing but integrating both sides with respect to x. So this is, if you're integrating f of x times g dash g of x dash, this is a gradient function. So if you're integrating a gradient function, you get the original function. So this implies, this becomes f of x times g dash x, sorry, g, g of x. Yeah, this is a product function, product of two function. If you, that's, it's a gradient of a product of two function. And if you integrate that, you get the original function. So this is equal to integration of f, f dash x times, this will not change. You can't uh, integrate this like this plus integration of f of x times g dash x dx. So I'm going to make this the subject. You can make also this the subject. So if you make this the subject, we can write, make a uh, formula, which is nothing but integrating by parts. So f of x times g dash x dx is equal to this minus this, which is f of x times g of x minus integration of f dash x times g of x dx. Now this formula is actually very simple to remember. So if you're integrating, if you have integration of two functions where one is a function and one other is a gradient function, then that would be equal to f of x minus f of x times g of x minus integration of if you have, if you start with f of x, you have to write f dash x. And if you have f dash x, you have to write, remember, it's g of x. So the trick is, let's write the question now. Now the trick is, you have to let, this is again a substitution method, but it is integration by parts. So we are going to let, as a rule of a thumb, let me use a different color, as a rule of a thumb, or rule of thumb, we are going to let the function which is easy to integrate as g dash x. We're going to let something which is easy to integrate because from g dash x we want g of x. So you should take a function which is easy to integrate as g dash x. That's the rule. Or that's the rule of a thumb. Okay, so here you got two functions. This is say this is one function and this is the other function. So now you decide which you, which of them you're going to take as an original function and which you're going to take as a gradient function. From the original function, okay. So let me do that first. If I say too much, you'll not understand. Okay, so let I'm going to do like this. Let the difficult function to integrate is e to the power x. So I'm going to let that as g dash x. So I'm going to let g dash x as, uh, okay, let me write it down because I need working space here. So I'll write it here. So I'm going to let the easier function to differentiate is this, okay? Or the difficult is, sorry, the easier function to integrate is e to the power x. So I'm going to let that as g dash x. So that's the rule. Because e to the power x integrates to e to the power x. 
So that's an easy function to integrate because from this we are going to integrate. And I'm going to let the f of x or f of 2 pos 2x as f of x. You'll understand the beauty of this later on. So and this is the rule of a thumb. The function which is easier to integrate, take that as g dash x. So now here you're going to differentiate. I'm going to differentiate this to get f dash x or f prime x. So f dash x, the, the differentiation of cos 2x is going to differentiate inside. So it will be minus 2 sine 2x. I hope you know this. Differentiation of cos is sine, a negative sign, and that's how you put a negative. And differentiating inside, you have to put 2 here. Okay, so uh, that's the first step. Okay, now what are we going to do? You have to integrate this. If you integrate this, you get g of x. You want to integrate this. That means from a gradient function, if you want to get the function, you have to integrate. So integrating this, g of x is equal to e of x, e to the power x. So applying the rule so this is the rule this is this is the rule okay or no the year is a rule so integration of okay i wanted to look at this closely so we are writing the question now in form of the formula so this integration of f of x what is f of x cos 2x times g dash x, which is e to the power x dx. So I hope you can see this is nothing but the question is equal to f of x. What is f of x? Which is cos 2x times g of x, which is e to the power x minus integration of f dash x, which is minus 2 sine 2x. So this minus will make this. So this is, I put the 2 out sine 2x times e to the power x dx. Okay, so yeah, so this is nothing but, now yeah, I'm going to, I have to integrate this, integrate this by parts again. So I'm going to do an asterisk here. Okay, I'll come back to this later on. So we'll work for, for the asterisk. So we are going to integrate this separately. So I'm going to write uh, with a black color integration of sine 2x e to the power x dx. So again the same principle. So let me use a different letter. So f and g we have used. So let me take uh, h of x and m dash x. So what's the rule? Rule of thumb is the easier function to integrate, you take as m dash x. So the gradient function is an easier function, should be an easier function to integrate. So e to the power x and h of x is sine 2x. Sine 2x. So now h dash x, same thing. You are differentiating this. So this is 2 cos 2x. Differentiating the inside and then outside. And m, m of m m of x is e to the power x. So let me write the rule. Integration of h of x times m dash x dx is equal to h of x times m of x. So it's very easy to remember. This times this minus integration of uh, integration of this times this. Okay. You're starting with h of x, so I have to have h dash x here. And m of x, so I have to write m dash x, so I have to write m of x dx. This may look co complicated, but if you are learning calculus or integration at a higher level, this is really helpful. So let us substitute the value. So this is integration of, this is the question here. I hope you can see this is sine 2x e to the power x dx is equal to h of x. What is, what, what is h of x? Which is sine 2x times m of x, which is e to the power x, minus integration of, I'm putting the 2 out, so this is 2 
cos 2x m of x, which is e to the power x. Okay, so let me so let me write this here. So I hope you can see. So in place of I'm going to write it here. I'm going to finish it off here and squeeze it here. Okay, so this is equal to this is equal to cos 2x e to the power x plus 2. The integration of this is what? The we have integrated this here. Can you see the asterisk? So this is the integration here. Okay, so this integration of sine 2x e to the power dx is sine 2x e to the power x. So I can, in place of this, I can write the answer, which is 2 times sine 2x e to the power x. Let me use it, write it properly. Sine x times e to the power x minus 2 times integration of cos 2x e to the power x dx. I should have written dx here. This is dx here. Okay, so now I want to write the whole thing again so that I can see what I'm writing. So this is the question. So I'll write the whole thing. So integration of cos 2x e to the power x dx is equal to, let me scroll this slightly up, so this is cos cos 2x e to the power x plus plus I'll expand this. This is 2 sine 2x e to the power x and this minus 2 times negative 2 is minus 4 integration of cos 2x e to the power x dx. This is really amazing. So yeah, can you see this is repeated? This and this is repeated. So this is again repeated here. So if you add this to both sides, I hope you can understand as top calculus students, this is phi integration of cos 2x e to the power x dx is equal to cos 2x e to the power x plus 2 sine 2x times e to the power x. So now dividing both sides by phi, the final answer is integration of cos 2x e to the power x dx is one-fifth times cos, of course, I have to put the constant of integration here, plus c. Okay, I'll not forget the constant of integration. So 2x e to the power x plus 2 sine 2x 2x e to the power x. Uh, the constant of integration is arbitrary, so you can write c. And you can factor out the e to the power x. So the final answer is e to the power x over phi times cos 2x plus 2 sine 2x plus c, which is a constant of integration.